going on, everybody? Cannot wait to get into what we're going to get into today. Let's do it. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And uh, today we are going to get into season two of Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Yes. Uh, y'all, I've been uh, doing some other videos just to, uh, you know, get this whole thing going again. And uh, I like to think that I'm doing pretty okay. You know, you guys will let me know if I'm coming up short, right? You know, constructive critiques. I always say that in every video. But yeah, we're going to get into uh, the second season. And uh, the first episode of this one is going to be titled Millennium. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, this show was uh, created uh, sometime in the late 90s. I think it was by the 98, 99, something like that. Uh, somebody let me know if I'm wrong about that. But, um, yeah, I don't know exactly what to look forward to with this one and what we're going to be seeing. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are, too. So, yes, we're going to go ahead and get into this. But before I do, um, somebody let me know uh, about this uh, in the comments, if you could. I went through uh, the playlist of where this show is um, um, on the YouTube channel that this show was on. And uh, for the final season, it's missing the first and the fourth episode of the last season. I don't know if it's anywhere else on YouTube. If it is, somebody please let me know. Because uh, uh, when this season wraps and I get into the third season, I definitely need to know where those at, uh, where those are so we can uh, you know finish strong on it. But uh, like I said, somebody let me know. But we're going to wait and get into this one. So yes, Gimme, 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 Season 2, Episode 1, titled Millennium. And if you like this reaction, please hit the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here. All right? Thank you very much for that. So, uh, yeah, man. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to um, do these episodes because I'm... Um, I keep getting uh, demonetized for them somehow. I might have to like, you know, skip a couple of parts in between, but I'll try to make it to where it's not significant to the episodes that we're watching. Uh, I'll try to do my best, you know, but uh, yeah, it's neither here nor there right now. Let's go ahead and get into this one. I'm ready. Gimme, gimme, gimme season two, episode one, Millennium, right here on Eddie B TV. Glad to be back with y'all watching this show, man. Let's get to it. All right, let's get situated with this one. And here we go. That is your middle. I'm so sorry, Tom. Why? I know we had the peak practice reunion to go to, but... <laughs> ever since our eyes met across the set of a crowded GP surgery... When did he say that? Played dysentery brilliantly, by the way. <laughs> I just knew that I wanted to see the millennium in here. With you. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Teddy bear, Tom. Come on, man. <laughs> uh oh. Is the punch? 
some spikes, let me know, somebody. That's a Christmas tree. Was it a bad Christmas? Oh, hey, Lindy. Hey. Red, orange, red, orange. Love the look, love the look, baby. Don't come in, in. <laughs> Traffic lights. <laughs> ah, shut up. Oh, no. What's happened to poor Timothy Tree? Don't <laughs> leave it. You'll have to come down soon anyway. It's bad luck otherwise. You don't believe in all that superstitious claptrap, do you? God, you're frighteningly working class. <laughs> it's true. My nana left her tree up for too long once, and the very next day she spontaneously human combusted. <laughs> no, you're lying. It's true. All that was left of her was her little chuff. <laughs> Wandering around the land, it was, all lost and dribbling. Oh, 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 stop it, stop it. Chuff? No chaff, it was her Jack Russell. <laughs> Pass me a chocolate starfish off the tree. Yeah, it's not my school, you are, <laughs> Excuse me, what's the magic word? Twat. Thank you. <laughs> here you are, here you are. Okay. Yes, I did rather well with the tree this year, didn't I? One used to get so excited in days of yore when Mama would first dress the Yuletide desk branches. A tangerine here, a candlelight there. The first glimpse of angel hair round my baubles. <laughs> we used to have a tiny tears, though, on the top of ours. All done up like an angel, it was. Until Mummy decided to get one of them ones that wet themselves. She got drenched and the whole estate got short-circuited. But that made you popular. Oh. We were the victims of an hate campaign. Dog crap through the letterbox, bricks through the window. It was even worse when they found out it was our fault. <laughs> Stupid. What's in this? Well, it's vodka, gin, brandy, lemonade, and just a splash of coconut milk. Oh. Isn't it phenomenal? Mm. Mm. <laughs> One should always have a welcoming tanker just in case any first footers pop by. <laughs> what time are you going out to your party? Hmm? You should be getting ready. Have you seen the time? Hmm? No, um, Tamika phoned. She blew me out. Well, over the phone. Not to be a very long tongue. <laughs> Do you know, I think they must have got a puppy for Christmas. Cos I could hear her fella shouting in the background, I'm not having that dog back in my ass. Then she said, party's up. Damn, that's cold. That's cold. They talk about oh, such a sad bitch. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Does that mean you're not going out? Or why are you wearing more makeup than Squitty Politty? <laughs> a lady should always look her best, Thomas. Mummy used to wear so much mascara, she had to throw a red back to get her eyes open. That's a sweet belly, is that what you Oh, man. I was really looking forward to having a flat all to myself tonight. Bring her back! No! Ain't my fault you ain't got no mates. I've got a couple of pals coming down from my days at Wolverhampton Rep, actually. Who? Stephen and George. We did a three-handed Julius Caesar together. <laughs> about your sexual conquests. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, they rang this Three afternoon. They said they were coming down. They were so chilled. They were like, hey, Tom, we're coming down. <laughs> hey, Tom, we're coming down, boy. <laughs> Tom, they're smackheads. They're always coming down. Well, anyway, anyway. I issued a smatter of invites. Tom Farrell at home. Green lettering, yellow background. Little tip I picked up from Princess Di's smiling butler. <laughs> And now you're going to be here. Damn you! Well, I don't know why you're bothering. Millennium's a bit like steps. Overrated. Excuse me. But steps are ABBA for the 90s. Oh, no, we can't say that anymore, can we? What do we say now? What do we say? Are the zeros? Aye. Well, you know, we had the 80s, we had the 90s, so now we're over the zeros. Maybe it's the noughties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? I've got a naughty 90. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Mummy gave it to me as a puberty present. <laughs> yeah. What? I've done a 70 minus one in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, welcome to the noughties. Yeah, uh, I like that. Do not chaff me neck, though. <laughs> See, the fella thought he was turning me on, whereas, in fact, he was strangling me. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Linda, if you insist on staying in tonight and ruining my lesbian and gay pick and mingle... <laughs> <laughs> May I make one tiny request, please? Can we have a little bit less of the Lachews family history, please? <laughs> to kill some time until my friends arrive. What's on television? I don't know. I'm not psychic. Well, you're the one with the telly pages, not me. I'm only looking at the pictures. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> well, could you hazard a guess from the pictorial profferings, please? <laughs> Maureen from driving schools on question time. <laughs> oh, don't be so ridiculous. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. No, look, there's a picture. It's that geezer from question time, three MPs, and Maureen from driving school. It'll be Anne Widdicombe, you ridiculous new. <laughs> so much stuff I don't what know. Else what else is on? What else is on? Firm Britain with an Aggies. Oh. <laughs> Here. What do you have to do to be a television presenter? Well, uh, you've got to be attractive. Right. <laughs> you've got to Here. sleep with loads of producers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Read auto cue. Oh, no, see, I'm dyslexic. Thick. <laughs> dyslexic. You're too working class to be dyslexic. <laughs> Owning class, mate. Me dad owns his own cancellers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cut your veins open, you'd have blue blood pumping away there, wouldn't you? <laughs> Everyone knows blood's red. <laughs> oh, you call me thick. Blue blood, you daft trollop. <laughs> As in the royal family. Oh, I hope they're not on tonight, moaning northern ponces. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love these words. You know, that docu-soap. You know, the one where they all sit around talking about television and smoking. I mean, how many people do you know actually do that, eh? What else is on? Who wants to be a millionaire? Ah, oh, what a rip-off! <laughs> About. You've never tried to go on it. And the question they ask is so bloody hard. <laughs> no, it's not. It's all things like arrange these days in the order they come in. Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Yeah, well, we haven't all got a degree in date arranging, have we? <laughs> Get away from my punch! That's my punch! That's for my guests! No, that was a selfish. Only a little drink. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not selfish. Me? Selfish? 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 Who did the Christmas tree, hmm? Who dressed it, hmm? hmm? Who made the Christmas dinner? Who made the Christmas punch? Didn't all just magically happen overnight, you know? The little Christmas fairy didn't jump down and do it. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that was good. Yeah, that's right, yeah. When in doubt, resort to homophobia. I ain't phobic about homos. I just can't stand the sight of them. <laughs> now, get out of my way! <laughs> I'm going to phone Daddy. I'm going to leave him a message on his answer machine. Oh, God. <sighs> <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Oh. It's Lindy, Daddy. Happy New Year. Thank you for my computer. Love you lots. Linda. <laughs> oh, I've got something in my eye. <laughs> You know, sometimes you make me physically sick. <laughs> oh, Funny enough, Daddy used to say that. <laughs> oh. 
He used to tie me to the roof rack of his car, drive 70 miles an hour around the Isle of Dogs and say, Linda LaHuse, you make me physically sick. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> and you wonder why he never answers the telephone? How can he? He is in an iron lung. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. You've seen the picture. I'm supposed to believe that that's an iron lung, am I? Well, what else would it be? It's a sideboard. <laughs> <laughs> How many iron lungs have you seen with a couple of drawers in them and a carriage clock on top? <laughs> well, Daddy's got a special one. He adds, why would he lie to me? So you won't go round and bore the liver out of him? <laughs> Daddy! Press the letter K. <laughs> Try again. Press the letter W. Try again. Press the letter L. This is the letter L. L. <laughs> oh, it's your new laptop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, your computer. Little star. How I wonder what you are, high up. Uh oh, oh she's right. to feel it. I think my friends are still stuck in traffic or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's happened to your posters of Liam? Where is Stray? I can never bring up another bird's child. <laughs> <laughs> My auntie Dot did that. Had it for six weeks, then she had to give it back. I mean, I said to her at the trial, you should have asked permission. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play a game? Charades, perhaps? What, like, give us a clue? Yes, just like give us a clue, yes. Yes, I'll be Lionel Blair, you can be Lisa Goddard. No, I want to be Lisa Tarbuck. Look at me air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go and be Lisa Tarbuck. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm assembling my team. Oh, right. <laughs> that's Carol Jackson from EastEnders. Welcome, Carol. And that's Keris from Catatonia. OK. <laughs> it's all over the front page. <laughs> you give me road rage. Yes, I get the picture. I get the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, you dirty bitch. <laughs> What are you doing now? <laughs> Carol fancies you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking him that. What? What's she asking? What? <laughs> Carol wants to know what colour are your undies. <laughs> well, they're sort of red. No, I'm not. No, no, no. no. When we're <laughs> ready, ladies, please. Come Call on. me Lisa! All right, when we're ready, Lisa. OK. <laughs> All right. It's a song, OK? And um, it's two words. And I'm going to do the second word, which I'm going to act for you right now, OK? Wait. <laughs> Pretty woman, my go. No, no, no. no. <laughs> second word, right? <gasps> oh, it's that deaf bird that plays the drums. <laughs> oh, what's her name? Oh, this is so hard. No, 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 no. Sounds like... No, I don't know what she sounds like. I've never heard her. <laughs> Sounds like this. Sounds like this. Well, what is that? A uh, perfect, perfect day. It's no. just no. a perfect no. day. It's a curl. curl. It's a curl. Curly whirly. It rhymes with curl. Curl barrel, big barrel, big barrel. The great barrels of fire. It's girl. <laughs> it's girl, girl. You stupid bitch. Girl. <laughs> Carol says she can see your thing. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> All right. So the second word is. Go on, then. <laughs> the second word is girl. G girl, girl, I've never heard of it. <laughs> I haven't done the first word yet. You're just trying to confuse me. Right. <laughs> first word, first word is. I get down, I get down, girl. I win, my God. <laughs> when have you ever heard of a song called I get down, girl? I get down, girl, always living in an I get down world. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Look! <laughs> Stop turning.
turning yourself on? What are my clothes made of? Something cheap. <sighs> <laughs> Material. Denim. <laughs> no, no, that's it. It's the Madonna song, Material Girl. Oh, she is looking so rough, isn't she? <laughs> Come on, in. I've just done it! It's the Madonna song, Material Girl! Bloody hell, you went round the asses oh. a bit, didn't you? <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. It's such an effort to ever do anything with you, oh. ever, ever. Right, who's in your team? I don't, really, I don't know, um... This is Simon Shepherd, and this is uh, Michael Owen. Uh, no, that's Robbie Williams. All oh, right, it's Robbie Williams. Get on with it. Right. Now, Robbie might get this one. OK. OK? It's a song. Right. <laughs> it's got... It's got one word. <laughs> Here we go. OK. Da-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na
Where's she gone? Where's she gone? <clears throat> Come <back>. <laughs> <gasps> Church. <laughs> Come on, a thing came through the door. Midnight communion. There'll be free wine. No, 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 I don't want to be religious. I mean, what the hell is the year 2000 got to do with Jesus Christ? Well, Christmas is his birthday, isn't it? He was born in a stable to save the world from sin. Yes, there was cattle and a donkey and cake. And everyone had a lovely time, it, except Mary, cos she was knackered. Damn. I'll see you next century. No, 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 no! No, no, please don't leave me rattling around in this big house. I'm scared, Lindy. I'm really scared. The bogeyman will get me! The bogeyman will get me! Please don't go! All right. Oh, thanks, OK. Thanks. thanks. Stay. Probably freezing outside anyway. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. Yes. I'd get nipples like chapel at pigs. <laughs> here. Here. Come and lie down with me on the bed here. I? Come and lie down with me here. Here. Come and have some punch with me. Yeah? Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Cheers. Yucky duck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm splattered. <laughs> oh, it's good for you, though, Tom, getting pissed. Yeah. <laughs> it's not so good when you piss the bed, but it is good. <laughs> <laughs> that's never good, though. That's never good. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you weren't an homo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know something? What? I wish you were a blow. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's it like having a knob? <laughs> oh. It's great. Yeah? Yeah. But it gives you something to look at when you're bored, doesn't it? <laughs> Bloody fantastic, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's quite nice having a patty, though. <laughs> a patty? That's <laughs> what Mummy used to call it. <laughs> I'd get up for school in the morning, right? She'd go, you cleaned your teeth? I'd go, yeah. I hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> She'd go, you washed behind your ears. I'd go, yeah. She'd go, you washed your patty. <laughs> I used to laugh me head off when Patty Boulay came on the telly. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> my mum used to call mine my tail. It's oh. <laughs> a bit confusing, isn't it? <laughs> mm. No wonder you get pleasure around the back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> That's a good line. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, how oh, old were you when you had your first fumble? Uh, I don't fumble. recall. Oh, come on. Everyone remembers their first time. Well, except fumble, me. Huh? <laughs> I was off me head on vodka and glue. <laughs> <laughs> I only knew I'd done it because my brownie uniform was on back to front and I couldn't find my pants. <laughs> oh. How old were you? Seventeen. <laughs> what on earth were you still doing in the brownies? I kept putting me back a year, didn't I? <laughs> I think it was cos there was quite a lot of dogs in our group and they wanted to keep me there to up the pretty stakes. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that'll be yes. Oh, oh, oh! I do remember my first kiss, though. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It was in the school pantomime, and I was playing the dame, and I had this beautiful long blonde wig. Mm. And on the opening night, there was a power cut, and in the blackout, Kevin Stamford grabbed me and snogged the face off me. Ooh. I've had my best sex in the dark. Well, blokes prefer it that way, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Swear, All I'll week, I kept giving him embarrassed little smiles and he'd turn away. And then one lunch break, he came and sat next to me and told me how, during the school pantomime, in the blackout, 
he'd grabbed Tracy Duggan from Mr. Taylor's class and snuck the face off her. <laughs> he thought I was Tracy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want to know the worst part? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> he said she was a crap snog. <laughs> Oh, dear. What did that mean? <laughs> yeah. I had my first kiss when I was eight. <laughs> Samson, his name was. <laughs> I'd gone up the back field with my mate Patsy Clapp. <laughs> <laughs> and there was this horse there called Samson. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Tom. Tom, it was an accident. <laughs> I don't know, but some things I hear just fine. So this bloke you snogged, was he bar was it? You know, bisexual? No. Was he gay? No, he was straight. Well, what's the difference between a bisexual man and a straight man? In my experience, about six cans of lager. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Don't you, Gwyneth Paltrow, it with me, mum. I'm just sick of it, Linda. What? Well, everything, look at me! Which bit? <laughs> Am I always destined to be the crap snog who gets a bloke by mistake, hmm? I'm nearly 30, you know, I should be out there. I should be out there enjoying myself, not stuck in here with a horse kisser. <laughs> Most people I know make bowls of punch and first footers drop by and drink it. They don't just polish it off themselves. Oh, God, you know, all my friends, all my friends are living together. They all have joint bank accounts. They all have rows. They kiss. They make up. But I can't even do that, can I? No, because they'll always say, Tom Farrell, you're a crap snob. Oh, will you shut up going on about being a crap kisser? Yeah, well, it's true, isn't it's it? Snob. So snob means kissing. Samson. Shut up! Oh, oh, you'd probably do it better with a bloke. I mean, I did feel a slight bit of resistance, but, I mean, I always get that. That's just blokes, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, I really oh. wanted tonight to be special, you know? I really thought that suddenly everything would slip into place. But it hasn't, has it? No, no, no. Cos tonight's like any other night. Another shitty night in an endless row of crappy, shitty little nights. <laughs> But I do say people kill themselves more at New Year. Oh, that's really cheered me up, thank you very much. <laughs> well, they used to say the world was round. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should shut the front door, hmm? Looks a bit desperate, doesn't it? Oh, stop enjoying yourselves! The sun will come out <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about tomorrow. 
Oh. Please remind the cobwebs and the sorrow. Oh. Till there's none. <laughs> When I'm stuck with a day <laughs> that's grey and lonely, I just stick out my chin and grin and say, oh. <laughs> tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow. Nice way to reintroduce ourselves to the show. Yeah, it's just running all the way out, yeah. Okay, that is the end of that, y'all. Man, oh man. Whew, they really know how to put you through a lot in this show, man, I'm telling you. But you know what? Hey, that's why we got into this one, man. Boy, first season down, and now we're at the first episode of the second season. Man, I think they really are pretty much picking up where they left off. I had someone in the comments tell me that... um forgot what your name was please tell me um uh who you are but anyway never mind i'm getting off track here all right y'all that was uh gimme 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 season two episode one millennium y'all well uh yeah nice way to reintroduce ourselves to the show man um i don't uh i don't and i don't remember exactly what i was doing in the year 2000 i know that i was only 15 years old um well actually hold on I was 14, about ready to turn 15. Yeah, because uh, my birthday is January 23rd. And um, yeah, I'm an Aquarius, by the way. I don't care about it. I just know that I am one. People couldn't help but remind me of it. You know, since I became grown, which was around, uh, yeah, 2003, uh, I don't know, man. I just felt like the New Year's to me was always something that you're supposed to like, you know, turn over new leaves, you know, you have your little New Year's resolutions and all that stuff. I never really did stick to them. You know, I always had my resolutions come like much long after New Year's, my, probably my five, six months in, probably like half a year in, then all of a sudden you start to realize what you should be doing. <laughs> and then you only get a little bit of it. Then the next year comes around, then you're stuck for another six months before you figure something out. But um, for the most part, I spent it with family, you know, because uh, I just didn't want to be alone on times like that. Not because I was like depressed or I'm just like something like that. You hear fireworks going off. You just have to be near somebody, you know, uh, some friends, some family, maybe a loved one if you had it at the time. A lot of times I didn't have one. Oh, God, I don't want to talk about it. OK, don't make fun of me. But um, yeah, man, this was funny. It seems like in this one, they were just kind of like wanting something. You know, they had their little dreams of what they thought would be the best thing. Maybe in their case, you know, they can like feel all depressed or whatever. But I guess the best part of it was they were together for this one, you know. Um, as you can clearly tell throughout the video, my face was kind of scrunched up at some parts. There's some lingo from um, this I just don't understand at all. Please, please school me in the comments with things that I you saw my facial expression getting all rowdy with. But um, yeah, man, I think it was just great to get this show up and going again. Um, I like them together, you know, they just really have this like great uh, on-screen uh, on screen chemistry together. And uh, Kathy Burke is always just funny and James Dreyfus, man, the way he just like is so like uh, overly dramatic sometimes. And uh, the way that they both act together and they argue, but yet they're still together and they bounce things off of each other all the time. It's just a really great show, man. Um, <laughs> the ending part where, they, where she just got up on top and started tonguing them down. Sure enough, man, I'm thinking like, oh, snap, there's something about to come up that I'm not aware of. And then sure enough, man, how was it? Crap. 
<laughs> that was funny as hell. But uh, yeah, man, uh, great uh, start to the second season. Uh, like I said, man, if somebody knows what's up with those uh, two episodes in the final season, please let me know. Because I'd hate to think that I got into this and I wouldn't be able to finish it off the way it's supposed to be with every episode. But uh, yeah, one episode down and um, this season has, let me see, seven episodes in it. First season had six, second had seven, and the third had six as well. So we're on our way, man. I can't wait to get to the second one already. Don't know when we're going to get into it, but yes, one down and we got six more in this season to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there uh, one more time. Give me, give me, give me season two, episode one, uh, Millennium. And if you like that reaction, please put on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request. And uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here. All right? Thank you for always remembering that. So yeah, this is going to be Eddie BTV wrapping this one up. One more game here. Um, great first episode to this season. Um, I probably should have gave a shout out to the person that suggested it to me. I didn't think about that at the time, but hey, whoever you are, thank you so much for suggesting the show to me. Um, just, I'm just having fun with it. You know, there's a lot of stuff from other countries that I just don't understand at all that I want to get schooled on. And, um, the things that I did get, you know, they just kind of had me cracking up a little bit. Even the way things sound is kind of funny, even if I didn't understand it all right away. But please, keep schooling me on what these, these words mean and all this stuff. There's a couple of things that they kind of made clear as the show went on. But, uh, still, please, make it clear for me so that way I can just, you know, get this stuff stuck in my head so I can just use it around the house and annoy the hell out of everybody. Be like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's what makes it so fun. <laughs> so, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in one more time to this one, man. I had a lot of fun getting to this. Um, I had so many people wondering when I was going to get to this one anyway. But now, you see, clearly, we are here. We are back at it again. And uh, like I said, I can't wait to get to the second episode already. So, yeah, thank y'all one more time. And until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.